What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to do a general reading for you. Let's tap in, see what's going on with you all. Let's pull from the Witch's Oracle. See what's going on with my Scorpios for this beautiful eclipse energy. What's going on with my Scorpios? Whoa. We have Alchemist coming out, okay. Herbal Kitchen energy. We have Altar Dedication energy coming out as well. So I see you uh, working on your altar, working on some like alchemy with your herbs and things like that here. Things that you want to bring in or you want to bring forward, things that you want to let go of. Okay, whatever you do for your uh, full moon rituals, what I see for a lot of you here. What else is going on with my Scorpios for this eclipse energy and fulfillment? Oh, yes. You're working towards your wish fulfillment here. You do have the scrying mirror. So some of you could be like scrying with your mirror here to see what's to come or what, what you're looking for here. I see the candles, magic, secret, book of shadows. Yeah, a lot of y'all are working on stuff tonight. Like tonight. I'm going to upload this video tonight here for the eclipse energy. So this is good. So let's see. Let's clarify this energy of the alchemist with the herbal kitchen. I'll be doing my uh, candle rituals tonight, which you take different candles, you know, different candles represent uh, different things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like you burn certain candles for your sac, uh, all your, not sacral, all of your chakras, okay? Things that you want to manifest, success, abundance, you know, I'm going to burn my golden candles for prosperity, green candles for a certain amount of money, okay? And then once I finish with it, I'm going to burn my white candle first, and then I'm going to burn my all of my manifestation candles and then once i finish with that i will burn my black candle to send it off for to protect everything that i just manifested so that's the plan tonight okay and i may do some journaling as well let's see herbal kitchen alchemist energy what is this about for my scorpios herbal kitchen alchemist energy the hermit yep <laughs> A lot of you are going to be in solitude tonight here. Some people may be like, hey, Scorpio, come outside. You know, come hang with us. And I see a lot of you saying, oh, no, not tonight. I got, I got to focus, okay? I got to focus on what it is that I need to bring in, what it is that I need to let go, tower at the bottom of the deck, what it is that I need to let go of, what did not work, okay? And what's coming towards me, or what do I need to move towards in the future here? Let's see, let's... Because I know a lot of people, there's like different things that you can do for the full moon. I normally do the same rituals to like uh, make sure I'm staying in touch. But I know some people. Some people like to have um, an idea of what to do here. So, so you can make moon water. For one, um, I always keep like a, a glass jar of mine and I sit it in the windowsill. If you don't want to sit it outside, you can sit it in the windowsill so it can get its full um, full charge. You can also charge up your crystals, you know, set your crystals in the windowsill or set them outside, whichever you prefer. Um, it says hold a full moon circle. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I don't do that. Do an oracle or tarot card reading, which we're doing now. Uh, take a full moon bath. Yes, that's a good one. You can do a full moon bath and like soak and absorb um, the energies and the, the manifestations that you're setting within that bath. Okay, the intentions that you're setting within that bath. Okay, do a full moon meditation. I'll be doing that tonight in front of my altar. Um, so I will be meditating on the things that I want. Um, and release what's no longer serving you is what this is about. Okay, so releasing all of the bad things so that you can clear out exactly what you want to bring in. Okay, so that's just an idea. So for some of you, if you want to do like a burning bowl ritual, okay, you could take like just a piece of paper, you know, like a little sticky note or something like that, something like this here, a little sticky note, write on there what it is that you want to release and then stick it in the burning bowl, set it on fly fire and let it go. Um, tell them about the alchemist energy here. Ten of cups. Yeah, this is what it is. You're looking at what is it that I want? What is it that I want to have is fulfilled here? The seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. So this is about being strategic. Okay, I'm not getting like sneaky, cheating, lying energy. It's more of like just kind of some of you may not tell people that you do moon rituals or some of you may not tell people that you're into this type of thing. And so you may just kind of somebody may be like, hey, you want to go out tonight? And you're like, uh, not 
not really, I'm kind of busy, I'm kind of caught up, so you're focused on uh, your moon rituals tonight. What else with the altar and dedication here? The Queen of Cups, yeah, tapping into your intuition. Look at that, Queen of Cups energy, being very intuitive, okay? I feel like a lot of you are focused on, yeah, the creativity energy here, tapping into what, what you can create, what you can manifest, what you can have. I feel some of you are letting go of illusions as well because I'm looking at this. It's really highlighting this fish. I don't have my glasses. So I have to look at it. But the way she's pulled this fish out of her cup, okay? Like, the way she's pulled this fish out of her cup, she's like, let me get rid of these illusions, okay? I don't need no more illusions. What is it that I want to do? What speaks to my heart? What taps into my creative energy? What taps? What intuitively is telling me that I need to focus on? What intuitively do I need to let go of? Yeah, what do I need to move on from? Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords. What do I need to release? And that's what the full moon is about tonight, is releasing. So that you can be set free, so that you can bring in your new wishes, your fulfillment here, this Ten of Cups energy. So let's see, give me another one here with this altar card. So I got that. Clarify that altar energy. Nine of Swords, yeah. I see some of you kind of up late tonight here with this Nine of Swords energy, but you're you're looking at things like what makes me anxious, what brings out my anxiety, what makes me not feel good, what what isn't making me feel balanced here with the Temperance energy, and whatever that is, Justice card, I need to let it go. I need to release it because I need to balance out things so that I can work on things that are meant for me, so that I can be successful, so that I can be abundant here. Okay, justice card, eight of pentacles, nine of pentacles, energy. Yeah, a lot of you are really focused on your money, focused on your finances, your abundance here. And the scales are balancing out here because you're focusing on what's uh, more important rather than what's not giving back to you. Like if you're, if, if you're focused on a business or something like that, you know that it's going to pay off. You intuitively know it's going to pay off. But if you've been focused on something that's brought you nothing but anxiety, you know, worry, stress, sleepless nights, you're like, okay, spirit, you're telling me that that needs to be let go of. If it disturbs my peace, it needs to be let go of. If it disrupts me in any type of way, it needs to be let go of. I need to balance things out. The temperance energy is also, she's connected to not only the spiritual realm, but the physical realm as well here, okay? Her emotions and her intellect. Um... So I feel like you are very in tune, very in alignment here with yourself tonight. So I do see a lot of you meditating, most definitely. Start by the fulfillment card. Page of Wands, look at you. What's the good stuff? What's the good stuff coming in? What's the good stuff I want to go towards here? Okay, what, what are the things that bring happiness, abundance, and, and good news to me? And that's what I see you doing here with this Page of Wands energy. Clarify more with this fulfillment card here. The Fool, and that's what you're taking the leap forward towards. You're leaping towards that here so that you can expand things, but you're also ending things as you're taking this new leap of faith. The World card represents the end of the Major Arcanas. The Fool card is the first card of the Major Arcana. So you're ending one huge cycle in your life, okay, and beginning new. And that's what I see for you. And as you do that, look at you. Very stable, very confident, very in your energy here with this King of Cups. The Temperance card, very balanced, very much in alignment here. <laughs> Justice card, balanced. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. Working, focusing on your work and successful. And you're doing it. A lot of you are doing this by yourself. Some of you, you could be starting like a new relationship. Others of you, this could be a new job, okay? But others of you with this Nine of Pentacles energy, you're just starting a new business. You're like, hey, what can I invest in that brings me a lot of stability into my life, that makes me happy, that makes me feel grounded, that makes me feel successful? Whatever you've been working on, it's definitely bringing that abundance into your life. So there's no need to worry about that at all. Mm. So you have ended some type of major cycle in your life, Scorpio. That's for sure. And I see you releasing like any last, they're showing me somebody picking off hairs on their clothes, like going like this. So it's like you're releasing any last little frag fragments of the past and you're releasing them and letting them go. That's what I see you doing tonight. Anything else? 
yeah house card bringing stability into your life here building new foundations here more stable concrete foundations what else do you have for scorpio Privileged lady. Man, you keep getting this Nine of Pentacles energy. This is like the pre-Empress energy for you here. You got the privileged lady and you have the Nine of Pentacles. So I see lots of success and abundance. I see a lot of you manifesting your, your wealth, your finances, your stability. Message of concern here. And the reason I feel like you're getting this message of concern because you're leaping into the unknown, okay? The fool doesn't know what's on the other side until they take the leap. And here, they've taken the leap, right? But they're still kind of hanging on to the cliff here. So I feel like you're ready. You're you're it that white flower represents innocence. You're ready. You're ready to take the leap, but you don't know what's down at the bottom below. But what you don't see is it's right there. It's literally right there, the bottom of the ground. It's literally right there. So you're ready. You're you're most definitely ready here. Toil and labor. I feel like you it's taking you a lot of work to get out of this mental prison, out of this mental blockage, or to get unstuck. Because I feel like a lot of you have been stuck for quite some time here. But I see you finally releasing that and letting go and moving forward, you know, towards this new beginning. Let's do angel answers. Anything else that Scorpio needs to know for this eclipse energy? Anything else? unlikely so if you're thinking about let's see give me one more on this unlikely card because i see within the next few months what about this unlikely card here why am i getting this past energy reconsider okay if you're thinking about like um i'm getting like past energy going back to the past make sure you reconsider it don't stop yeah Whatever you're going towards now is what you're meant to go towards here you have to look at things like things end for a reason you have to release things for a reason the answer is so you had to release things for a reason here what else do you have for Scorpio what else do you have for Scorpio you got romance okay some of you yeah some of you are ready for new love you're ready at the bottom of the deck and yes is here as well some of you are ready for new love like it's time to date again it's time to open back up again to new beginnings of course not all of us want love okay could just be you being open to more downloads or you being open to new opportunities here when it comes to work. Anything else? Improving health. If you've been feeling under the weather, your health will be getting better here with the improving health card. Okay, some of you need to take action. They're showing me somebody working out, so some of you may start like a, a new workout regimen to improve your health here. Also, for others of you, I'm just getting this energy. You will be feeling a lot better. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And abundance. Look at there, Scorpio. You got abundance coming in. You got abundance coming in. So you're definitely moving towards your happily ever after. Okay? The Ten of Cups. You got the Nine of Pentacles. You got the Chalice, which is the fulfillment card. And it's all about sticking to your craft. Okay? Manifesting what you want. Here. Last message for Scorpios. <laughs> can't make it up you got two cards you got indecision and door to personal healing and happiness here so if you've been on the verge of not knowing if you should go from stay in the past or go towards this new opportunity they're letting you know scorpio it's right here this new beginning is right here and i think you got this in another reading the exact same cards it's right here this new beginning is available for you it's open for you it wants you to go towards this new beginning but you have to get out of this indecision energy, this indecisiveness of, well, that past was so good. Was it, though? Ask yourself, did were you truly, truly happy? Like, when you sit down and think about it, I know there's good times. I know there's happy times. But when you sit down and think about it, how many happy times were they compared to the bad times? You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying this because I had to do it myself. Was I truly happy? Was it truly worth it? For me, no. No, it wasn't. Because there were way more down times than there were good times. And I know a lot of times I find myself thinking of the good times. Yes, most definitely. Because there were good times. But then once I remember those bad times, I remember, wow. Those bad times outweigh those good times times 10. And sometimes you just have to look at things like that. And I know it sucks, but spirit is trying to open up this brand new beginning. They're saying let go of this past here. So that you can have this new beginning. 
experience things that you've never experienced before okay so this is what i have for you scorpio i hope this gives you some clarity and some insight appreciate you all so much for watching catch you guys in the next video bye guys